Seven weeks out from Iron Man 70.3 Oregon, and we are in Chicago, Illinois. Let's get it. That's right, we're in Chicago, one of my favorite cities of all times. Sorry to everybody else, but this one definitely has a lot to compete with. From the architecture that's here, the sports, the history that surrounds Chicago, and the food. Holy cow, the food. If you have never had a Chicago deep dish, dish pizza, oh my gosh, you are missing out. So my stoke factor is poof, up here. Can't wait, can't wait to get outside and show you guys what's around. But before we do, we just got here and we only have a little bit of time left, we gotta get a run in. So let's get down to the hotel gym. Well, let's change first, cause uh, yeah, I don't wanna ruin this just yet. Let's get it. So we are at the Omni Hotel downtown Chicago. Not gonna lie, pretty impressed with the gym they have here and some of the stuff. A little bit older equipment, but hey, they got a really good range of stuff, including Peloton bikes. Those are not the best, but they're so much better than the recumbent bikes that you typically will find at a gym. So I know there's a website that tells you where they're all at. I never jump on that, but if you are a Peloton member, super bonus. I will absolutely be using this while I'm here. That means I can not only get my runs in while I'm here, but I can definitely get some hard workouts in on the bike. Super happy about that. I still haven't eaten yet. It's getting late and uh, I, I, I stink. So I'm gonna, we'll see. Still keep filling this thing up because uh, I'm not paying five dollars for a bottle of water. That's just stupid. Thank you. 
home in San Diego. Pretty stoked about that. Typically, the amount that I travel and the fact that running on treadmills and whatnot is super accessible and pools are very limited, I'll try to do one swim a day at minimum while I'm home, knowing that I'm gonna be back out on the road again, of course. I'll stack them up as much as possible and get what I can in as fast as possible. So, uh, yeah, I got my uh, Endurance on here. Happy accident that matches the shirt. Totally not planned. This is what I call the roll out of bed special. Uh, I'll link it down in the description below. But time to get uh, at least 2,000 in. Let's do this. <laughs> Swim is done, but we still got a bike tonight. And then we gotta swim a lot more tomorrow, and we gotta bike some more tomorrow, and then we gotta get back on the road on Monday. Ah, typical week. Anyways, it brings up a really good point, and I know this has been dropped me a few times, is how I acclimate to my schedule, being there's weeks that I'm at home the whole week, or there's weeks that I'm traveling the whole week, or there's just back-to-back -back weeks I'm traveling. It's really not rocket science. You just look at it and say, listen, I'm gone. I know that if I'm in a hotel, I've got a treadmill or I have open space I can run in, and guess what? I'm gonna do that. And that's why we get a lot of running footage when I make these videos. But we do know, hey, I'm home on these days. Those days, I do have to wake up early. You do have to have that discipline. You gotta get in the pool and you gotta get on the bike. And sometimes you've gotta go longer, a lot longer, and a lot farther, just because you gotta get that time in. So there's really no excuse to saying, I just don't have time. You can make time, it's okay, I promise. So moving on from all of that, because, well, it's really not that hard. Just write it down, you'll figure it out. Moving on. I wanna move on to something because I just got something in the mail that I'm super excited about and we should talk about. All right, so the half marathon's right around the corner and let's talk shoes for a second. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because there is a difference between a training shoe that we train in and an all around racing shoe. And that's why some of the racing shoes that are out there, they tell you, get them, test them out, but do not train in them. You'll kill them. They're designed for racing. What do they typically have that's a little bit better? carbon plates in them, a different type of foam that the shoe's made out of, and they do different actions. So with that being said, as you guys know, I run in the new Tri 13s and I love them. But when it comes to racing, that's just not gonna cut it for that half marathon to longer distance running. So I found my way to Roadrunner Sports and I went in and asked them. Now, I went to talk with Jaden and Michael and I said, what do you recommend? And of course, Jaden ran to the back and found the most loudest, obnoxious shoes that they make because he just knows that's what I like. What did I end up with? Let's see. The Asics Meta Speed Edges. Now, there are two versions of these and they look identical. One is the Edge, which is what I have here, and then there's the Sky. Sky has a little bit more uh, cushion in the front uh, and a pinch more in the back, but more in the front, it's more pronounced. There's a few differences. The Sky is made for somebody that has more of a lengthy stride, so that's gonna help increase their stride, as the Edge is more of a cadence runner, who's gonna pick up their cadence to pick up speed and not increase their, their length. As a heavier person, length is gonna come last, cadence is gonna come first. So we're gonna give these puppies a go. Big shout out to Roadrunner. Jaden, you did a wonderful job. Thank you. I wanna thank you guys for watching another week, another episode on my journey to my 70.3. Don't worry. I just gotta get this one made and we're gonna be off to the next one. So again, if you guys have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to share the video. Oh yeah, if you're on Instagram, Allenville underscore endurance, or just follow the little thing that pops up down here. Yeah, that guy, link's in the description. Go ahead and jump on that. We'll see you guys next week. We're getting closer, let's get it. I feel like you're gonna have a mental breakdown doing this. I can't be the one. Week seven, I should label this the most takes ever. Minus the first week, that was horrible. History that's here, the architecture. Oh yeah, the poop, the food, the, the fucking. Are you kidding me? That was so good.